downstairs. I'll radio the bees to let you through. Queen of what? And I want to break, bring her down on me. Yeah, sure. Come on, come Everyone's on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now and playing with their toy augmentations. You beat him in the ass. Okay, let's go down and see this Mr. Tong asshole. Oh man. Oh man. Man, this guy looks cool. I have the hands. Augmentations everywhere. Pieces of fuck. You are an asshole. Um, where's that? Oh, right there. Derp. Message bees to let me in. Let's take wine. What the fuck? Why the fuck do I need fucking wine? Hagen. I said Hagen, you fucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Piece of shit. B. Bouncer. You look like a tough guy. Just remember. Life here. So I could just come in here, but. I mean, uh, I found a stealth mission, but that won't do shit. Oh wait! You see this? Panda screw it up in the fourth. I'm just flushing my money down the pot. Your tongue. Hey, you only I knew that. that. Out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that? That American company stole all the headlines a while back. You are still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods. Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Mm hmm Yeah. Kinda interesting. Look at that guy. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run? Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. My mistake. Kind of hard to tell one lackey from another in here. You boys all look alike to me. Watch it, Guaylo. <laughs> you wouldn't want to die before you get a chance to polish the rust off those high-tech augs of yours. You can't go fuck yourself, asshole. You interrupted me. Who do you think you are for interrupting me? You Soviet bitch. No, wait. I said that incorrectly. No need for Soviet there. I don't know why did I say that. At all. We need to go... Down somewhere, I hope this road leads me somewhere. Yes, it does. Whoa, you guys. Look at that. Blue eyes. Blue. His eyes are blue. B L U E. Okay, save the game. Set the game again. Everything I've got, real game. Yeah, and real shit. What? Say what? Going up. Jensen, I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? No. A 
Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Yeah. Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. So... Um... Source? You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look Shanghai, so... He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. Yeah. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. So, which means... Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. Yeah. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And so? Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... Always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just innocent. Well, tell, tell me, me about, about Evelyn. Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I, her I met her during asshole. my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too, knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. So, hey, aren't you a lesbian? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. So what? Everybody deserves better! Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. See what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Maybe a kiss? This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can improvise. Okay, let's accept it. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He 
He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So? So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, Riches and honors depend upon... Do I need to write it down? Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Limb Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> James Bond yeah, movie, 007. Everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9, got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and thank you. Yeah, I okay, really whatever. appreciate this, Jensen. Just go fuck yourself right now. Let me do my freaking job. Let me do my freaking job. Oh, wait a second. One, two, three missions? What the shit? Seriously? Um, yeah, so let's see. What's that? This mission. What's this mission doing? Um, check pod nine. So I need to get up one level, which means there. Um, well, how can I get there? Ah, here. Here's the ladder, 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 ladder. Up, up we go, up we, up we, up we go, up we go. Pod 9, so yeah, that's the pod 9. Um, rooftop pitfalls, claim another. What? Evelyn, a young woman in her early 20s, became one of the latest victims claimed by the deadly Yow's Howl rooftops. The hell authorized authorities authorities. Clamoring for the circular missions on premise. Sources close the victims say Evelyn had been out celebrating with her boyfriend before the incident occurred. A witness whose identity was not released mm, claims uh, she slipped and fell while Descending one of the many staircases that connect to the Yoshao and Kuigan rooftops with the Pandeng Street below. Police believe alcohol or drugs may have influenced the fatal accident, but uh, officials claim the tragedy could have been avoided entirely if laws were, if laws were with the elections just. Oh, la laws were different. With elections just around the corner, everyone's death will now adopt a host of new debates and uh, controversy concerning citywide safety regulation, regulations, rooftops, related injuries, and deaths have steadily risen in the last five years and make over 60% of all recorded accidental fatalities each year. Okay. Um. Anything else to read? I hate reading. Okay, so let's go check that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Oh, okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. No worries. Let's go check her contact. I'm really interested in. Um, actually, the stair leads up, which means I don't want to go there. Um, yeah, 40 meters to walk. Um, that's plenty of your time wasted. Thank you. I love you too. No problem. And let's hack this. I want to hack this. I want to hack. I'm a hacker. I always wanted to be a hacker. Never was. Never will be. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Disconnect. Oh, good. Okay. Let's try it out. Hack. Derp. 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 Wait, what? Huh? Oh, disconnect, disconnect. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Again. Um, attempts left. Um, go. Mm. 
you can. Whoops. Run! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy piece of shit, holy piece of shit, holy piece of shit, holy piece of shit. Holy piece of shit, holy piece of shit. Holy piece of shit. 